are at one of my favorite thrift stores. We are at Bargains and Blessings in Wildwood, Florida. This has been one of my favorites since I found it about a year ago. And they have opened a new building, like a complete new building. So there are two thrift stores that are both theirs, one on my right, one on my left. We are gonna go in and check both out and see what we can find. This will be for a thrift box for you to flip for profit. If you missed it, I am thrifting because I like thrifting, but I don't need to add to my death pile, so I'm selling everything to you. So I first walked in and saw this awesome Christmas section and this before was jewelry but now all of the jewelry is moved over to the new section and they have buggies. This store has never had buggies. I always have to bring my Ikea bags in and I fill them up but this time I get to have a buggy. So we're going to go in this little Christmas store and see exactly what we can find in here. Now, I believe those might have been snow babies. In my experience, snow babies do not sell very well. Be very careful with your Christmas stuff because if it was mass made, it's probably not going to be worth much. Now, this was a cute little, I believe, handmade topper, but I wasn't really sure the resale value on that. And then I saw this egg. I think this was another homemade craft, the eggs in the nest. But that was really cute. And for only a dollar, I think it should sell for 15 to 20 pretty easily. And it's pretty cool here now because this whole store is now collectibles and furniture and linens. They have moved all the clothing, purses, and jewelry over to the other store. Now here we're looking at the toys. This is a group of dolls that are what I would call like a travel souvenir doll. I tend to get like 15 to 20, sometimes more on those. And they were only $3 for the whole bag. So I did decide to pick those up. These little guys were green monkeys and they were cute. I didn't think they'd sell. Now this Boyd's Bear was really cute. It was $2. It says, friends are flowers that never fade away. That was really cute. I don't typically think on Boyd's Bears, but I definitely really liked that one for sure. A little pink flamingo. Nanco, I don't believe is a high selling brand. And I miss that that ink. If you guys saw that ink sitting there, I didn't see it until I was actually editing. Now we are the golf club accessories. Always check for head covers because they're typically a dollar each and they will sell for 10 to $20 a piece. Those goggles, I'm not sure what they were, but they wanted 10 bucks and I didn't look them up and we didn't see any good golf clubs. So we are moving along. This fruit from what I am told, it sells, but the whole bag was $5. And when I am doubling, I think that's just a little too much. I did pick these up with high hopes that I will remember to put thank you stickers on my boxes. I still have not to this point, but I bought them in hopes that I will remember. Now I did see this bag of glass fruit and it was all four for $4. They, I feel like a group of four would probably sell for 25 to 30. So I feel like four was just a little bit too high considering the shipping and all. And I love this painting. I loved it, but I didn't get it. But these absolutely amazing, like red, black, kind of abstract, poor art. I'm not There's keywords there. There's keywords. You just got to find them. Those were amazing. They did not have a price, but I really like them. And I like them so much that I decided to put them in my buggy. And I did end up picking them up and they only charged me a dollar each, which is awesome. This is where I get caught guys right here. If you watched one of my 
videos last week, I talked about my obsession with notebooks and pens and here are notebooks, a lot of them. And I had just bought a lot. So it was really hard for me though. Look, I'm like checking out the notebooks to, to put that back. It was hard. I had to throw it away before I put it in my buggy. Always look at the stationery, guys. Sometimes there can be valuable. Now, this painting, I feel like I would have thought about getting had I been getting it for myself. It was a really cool painting there. I think it's a painting or a sketch, but it was really nice, and I feel like that would sell. Now, I missed these the first go-round, but coming back, this was a bunch of notepads from different destinations. It might have been worth picking up, but I wasn't really sure, so I did decide to put that one back. There's like furniture everywhere in here now. It's definitely like a furniture store. And I believe their prices are good too. So now we are going to move here to placemats and napkins and things like that. Now you have to dig with these. These are really pretty gold jacquard. They were only a dollar for two. I feel like those should sell for 12 to 15. I have had really good luck with cloth napkins making a good profit. And now I'm checking out the beach towels. If you find the right graphics and they are vintage beach towels, they can sell upwards of $30 to $40. Now, this one was a Florida one for $2. And it did look like it was a little more modern, though. I don't feel like that was vintage. So I did decide to put that one back. And again, you got to dig, guys. So underneath down here... This is a vintage new old stock. It has never been out of the package. It is Pacific No Iron Muslin. And I decided to look this one up just to see because some of that can be worth quite a bit. That was just a twin flat sheet. So if you see here, they actually sell for 16 to 20 or they are listed, but they also sell for 20 to 25. Now for that one with it being three and doubling to six, I would want to see pretty consistent $30 on that. So I did decide to put that one back. Had I been shopping for myself, I definitely would have picked that one up. Now, these looked really nice, nicely made and nice quality. So I did decide to pick those placemats up. I believe they were some type of wood, like a woven. This set of pillowcases caught my eye. You see the bird on it, and the two of them were $2, I believe. This, just this graphic, and you're going to see at the end, you will not believe how much those pillowcases that I picked up for $2 sell for. If you are not checking the linens, I say this over and over again, you need to be looking at the linens. And you need to dig like you see me doing. These are really nice cotton napkins, brand new, 18 by 18 for $2. Those should sell for about $25 to $30. So I did pick those up as well. And you have to sniff the candles, right? You have to sniff the candles. I got this candle for the shed, but I keep forgetting to bring a lighter out to the shed. So I've not yet lit the candle. I don't have any other reason to have a lighter, so it can be kind of difficult. I believe that that mirror was vintage, but it didn't have any markings on it, so I did decide to leave it there. And again, we're digging. Sometimes you got to touch the linens, guys, to see if they feel like they're quality and if they're nicely made, if they're soft, if they're thick. You know, you can kind of tell a difference between linens once you have picked them up. Now, not to say that some thin vintage linens don't sell because they will. Here's another thing I love for the shed. I get those like sticks that that have the oil, but we put that one back because I couldn't smell it. I need to know what it will smell like. And look at this. How amazing is this? It says it's handcrafted for CG designs. It is a tissue cover with amazing beautiful peacocks on it and it was only two dollars i feel like that should sell for about 20 to 25 it might even go for more and now another area don't pass up the pillows this is a tapestry pillow 
unfortunately these were four dollars which is a little higher than i like to pay for pillows i typically can get them for about a dollar and i absolutely loved this bedroom set but it was queen if it had been king i probably would have got that bedroom set for myself and we got a squish the the rows are narrow in this thrift store now we are coming upon i believe most of these are shower curtains i also have sold shower curtains for 25 to 30 dollars and they sold relatively fast within a few months and they're pretty easy to photograph i just lay them flat on the ground and they are very easy to ship now this southwestern runner i really liked but they had it at five dollars and i think it would only sell for about 20. now this shower curtain reminded me of laura ashley i did look everywhere to see if i could find a tag i sold a laura ashley shower curtain for over a hundred dollars so keep an eye out now this pillow was really nice i was trying to see if i could see a name brand but unfortunately i didn't i feel like that was probably a higher dollar pillow even though i probably could not put that in a resale box now we are coming to the cart that they are putting out so you know we got to check it out and see what's on there and that's a vino bowl i did not comp if that is worth money definitely let me know i did decide to put that back and we're definitely eyeing the new cart up and down always check those this one i felt like was a vintage mattel but i did open the back there to see if there was a tag and i did not see a tag the vintage mattel bean babies that look very similar to that sell pretty well I don't know why I'm looking at sets of China because realistically, since I'm putting this stuff in a thrift box, I probably wouldn't get it, but I had to turn it over and just check. Now, this used to be all clear glass, but it looks like they've mixed some colored glass in. That one was only $2, which was not too bad. I love this bowl, but unfortunately that one's priced at 12, which was a little too high to be able to make a profit on it for resale. And this had a really pretty etched flower in the top of it i believe that was like an old powder container some pretty pink depression glass plates those were priced at eight dollars for the set now a dollar for that red was not too bad but i wasn't really sure exactly what it was for it could have been like a candle pillar holder but i was not sure so i did leave it here they are doing more renovations i believe that's going to be their new office i saw this tray flipped it over it was more modern i left my buggy by itself never you shouldn't leave your buggy by yourself kevin commonwealth picker will come take things out of your buggy if you leave it so i'm lucky he was not there now this glass tray if you see fused glass trays check them to see if they are signed i've sold a couple recently for over 50 dollars now this little girl on the rocking horse has a very yadro style but i flipped her over and she was not yadro they had her priced like she was yadro she was priced at 15 dollars, but i wasn't familiar i don't even remember the name of that one so i did decide to leave her there and i was checking that cross for a crystal symbol like swarovski or perhaps waterford always look on the bottom and on the bottom of crystal it's very very hard to read so you have to look very close and kind of tilt it to make the light hit it at different angles now i love selling trivets i sell trivets pretty steady for 12 to 15 dollars this one is from istanbul it has a foam on the back it's really really nice and it was actually not marked but i did end up getting it for only a dollar so that was a definite pick up and then this one here is from the pope house and that one was marked a dollar so that's how i got the other one for a dollar they saw one trivet was a dollar so they charged me for the other one i think both of those should sell for 12 to 15 dollars and i've had really good luck with trivets both on ebay and facebook marketplace cute little cheaper you know under 20 dollar decorative items seem to sell well and then look at these these are lularoe but they are nightmare before christmas do not pass up every single lularoe you see if it is an interesting pattern pick it up here is another one this i'm not sure if it really is the cheshire cat 
but it really reminds me of the Cheshire Cat from Alice in Wonderland. Both of those were $2 a pair. The Nightmare Before Christmas itself were $30 to $40, possibly a little more, and the other pair should sell for at least $20. Now, I saw this beautiful Portugal vase. Portugal hand-painted items are one of my favorite. It had a bird and a dog, and it was only a dollar. So I definitely picked that one up as well. So I'm loving the little trinket section and I'm really loving them having more room for collectibles now that they've separated their clothing and accessories from this section. Now these are tablecloths and I didn't see any that really caught my eye. So I did decide to leave those there. And then they have more placemats. So there were placemats in the back and now there are placemats in the front. But I saw this little garden flag. I do very well with these at about $10 to $12. This one was a dollar, so I thought that was a great pickup with Christmas coming. And now, more knickknacks. I love, love, love knickknacks. Look at this beautiful Japanese black enamel or lacquer, sorry, black lacquer jewelry box with the women inlaid with Mother of Pearl. That was only $3. I was checking these coasters out, but no mark. But we definitely are going to get this awesome lacquer jewelry box or trinket box. It's pretty small. Now, I saw these, and it's only a dollar for a set of four. These are cute little vintage kitty cat sun catchers. I feel like you could either lot these up for about $30 or sell them for $12 to $15 a piece. So for a dollar, we definitely picked those up as well. Now I've had decent luck with those little glass on the mirror. They're kind of generic and cheaply made, but they sell for like 10 to 12 bucks. If you see them out cheap, I would definitely pick those up. She was interesting, but she was not marked. So I did decide to put her back. She's very pretty with her violin though. I definitely liked her. All right, let's go see what else we can find. So these are the costumes. Again, we are a little late in October to be buying costumes, but look at this cute 3D doggy stocking. But when I looked at the price tag, I noticed it said as is. Well, there's a big rip. So that is not something I would want to pick up. I check out the coasters. I have done okay with coasters as well, especially if they're low cost because those are pretty easy to list and ship. But all of those looked pretty modern and weren't super interesting where I felt like I could keyword them very well. Those little cute toothpicks were cute. I was on the fence. You see me doing my second little tap there. I definitely was on the fence about those. That little ladybug sponge holder probably would sell for 12 to 15, but I did not pick her up. I see a lot of GAN stuff all the time, but most of it does not sell very high and it is heavier and a little harder to ship. Now with Hallmark ornaments, I always am looking for birds. A friend of mine sold a Hallmark bird ornament, like a realistic bird for $199. So I always peek through. With Hallmark, the Barbies are never really super impressive. So look for anything that just stands out. And then here's another bear, but she was attached to her sled, so I left her there. This was a little hand-painted little fruit glass bowl, I guess? I don't know. So this has typically been where I found a lot of good stuff. I love that cardinal pitcher up top there. And then they have got a ton of Christmas out right now. And you definitely want to check the ornaments. Shiny Bright is one of the top brands that comes to mind. Also, a lot of Mercury ornaments with glitter will sell very, very well. So definitely keep your eye out if you can pick those up cheap. And they really are not super hard to ship. You just have to wrap the ornament box in bubble wrap, put it inside of a box, and we have not had any issues. Most of these clowns, I feel like, were massive produced Anything that's massive produced like your Avon bottles and these clowns are not going to hold a very good resale value, unfortunately. I did not comp that left-in cardinal basket. And now there were some more clowns in here. These might have done okay, but I decided to put them back. And then we had this flamingo. 
that was a little more realistic looking flamingo I feel like and I had to like almost climb over this table because I see the Franciscan apple back there so we are going to try and reach it now these were just the teacups I believe they wanted three dollars the teacups are one of the lesser valued ones that I find the best that I have done with so far is a Franciscan apple cookie jar so keep your eye out for those and then on the studio pottery set by Sango, $10 for a three piece set was a little high to leave room for resale value. And then a sombrero. I did not know, but this sombrero looked very, very nicely made. So we are going to look up the sombrero. If you don't know something, don't be scared. Just pull your phone out, look it up. It cannot hurt. And this one had a tag. So we were able to find it was Pigel. And you see here, $45, $40. This hat was priced at $3. It is beautiful green and gold. A little bit brighter than most of those sold comps. So it might go for 50 bucks. Now, I saw this sewing box down here on the bottom. I was hoping it was vintage, but it's actually kind of more of a reproduction, unfortunately. So when I looked it up, I kind of knew. Not when I looked it up, when I picked it up. And... It was not real wood. This was, I believe, some type of like plastic or resin. And you see the tag there. And then, I absolutely love this. This is a big seashell. It was only $4, but you see how big it is. That would be a monster to ship. And since I'm not keeping it for myself, I decided to leave that there so someone else could grab it. And I always eyeball the books for sets, just in case I see sets there. Now, I'm looking at the cards. What I look for with cards, like vintage Valentine's cards do very well. So, I just look to see if maybe there are some, but I didn't notice any there. Now, I have done very well with film cameras lately. This is a Pentax. It is an um, IQZ Easy. And I actually just sold this one, but they only, unfortunately, sell for 15 to 25 I wanted to check a comp because I've had some sell and I don't remember the model numbers of those higher, but they had that priced at 15 and it was worth about that. Now, this little clock was kind of cheaply made, but sometimes that doesn't necessarily mean that it's cheap. So we are looking up Queen Quartz and I didn't see anything that looked similar to it, but just that brand was selling for like the 20 to $30 mark and that one was 15 now, these little mantle clocks, I do always look up. That was a Howler, Howard Miller Quartz. And you will see some of these are worth 85 up to 100 but the smaller ones are not very valuable. So I did leave that one there. This piece, if I had been thrifting for myself, would have went with me. But it was $6, which would have had to be multiplied times two it was Boma Canada and this is a little Eskimo and he's actually ice fishing that's what the string there is and I put fishing and you can see they go for like 25 to 30 so while it would have been good if for myself it would not be good for a thrift box because I wouldn't want to charge $12 and it only sell for 25 to 30 now you guys can see me somebody was talking to me but you see that my GoPro is on my purse clip. Now, this is a nice little vintage mirror. And it was only a dollar. I think it should sell for like 12 to 15 You can see me thinking here. I'm like, okay, well, maybe. Yeah, we'll put it in a buggy. So we have a sombrero, a compact mirror. And now we're going to get some Wedgwood. The Wedgwood was five. I typically like to get the Wedgwood for about two to three because most of your common Wedgwood pieces will only sell for about 12 to $15. But at one to $2, those are very good pickups and they sell pretty fast. Now let's look in the case. I was looking at the flag. It was a gorgeous flag, but they wanted $3 for it. I love the studio pottery mug. I almost got it, but I decided to put it back because it was $3. Now, this is actual marble, believe it or not. It was from TJ Maxx, but this was a gorgeous, gorgeous piece. So, that is the end of my trip. I'm now going to show you what I bought.
All right, so I ended up having to split this between the two stores and the first of the Bargains and Blessings stores is going to be two boxes. There's some amazing stuff. I got these amazing, I think they're like wood placemats. I got six piece, 100% 18 by 18 cotton napkins, some more gold jacquard napkins. These are amazing Nightmare Before Christmas. Those go for like 35 to 40. I got this set of four sun catchers here. Also this awesome Portugal vase with like the puppy dog and the bird. And then I got, these remind me of like the Cheshire Cat almost from Alice in Wonderland. I'm not sure if they are. And also this garden flag is gonna be in this one. The kicker for this one guys, is these two pillowcases so this box is going to be 30 plus 15 for shipping these pillowcases once I unrolled them and looked on the inside are pottery barn and two this pattern is more amazing than what I saw anywhere and two that weren't even as amazing as this sold for 65 I am pretty sure you can get a hundred dollars for these two pillowcases from pottery barn that was the best pickup of the day and I didn't even know it. All I could really see was like the bird's face and that, that was a great find. And then box number two is going to be this awesome jewelry box here. I paid three. This is not marked, but it's a nice black lacquer with mother pearl with the velvet interior. I think this one should go for 25 to 30. I got these, I think it's five or six sleepy eye dolls. There are some really cool ones in here and these were only three and then I got these two trivets here, Istanbul and Captain Nathaniel Pope House. This is handmade and I just thought this was super cool. It was only a dollar. And then this really cool peacock tissue cover. I think that should go for like 20. I did comp this sombrero. It should go anywhere from 35 to 50. I didn't see any of this like bright gold and green. And then these are really cool poured abstract canvases. I think these could go for 40 to 50 for the pair. You're just gonna have to keyword it well. So this box is also going to be $15 or I paid 15, it'll be $30, plus it'll be 15 for shipping. So each of these boxes will be $45. There is number one, and there is number two. Good luck to those of you that get them. I think both of these are going to be some great money makers. The hat should pay for everything in this lot, and those pillowcases will more than pay for this whole lot. So two really, really great boxes.